Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Tonight we're here in the shop and I've had a few questions about what glue gun I use and why I use that specific one and we're going to find that out right now. Okay, so for, for you guys that have asked in the past, a glue gun comes in really handy when you're putting together small pieces of trim or items that a nail has a high likelihood of splitting the piece. So instead of firing a nail here where you may or may not split this, you would just put this together with a glue gun. Now there's all kinds of things you can buy in caulk tubes and, and things like that, but nothing really beats this particular setup that I've switched to. Can keep from doing that to the mic. This is the Fasten Master glue gun and a lot of times when I'm asked what glue gun I use I'll mistakenly say it's called a Pam tight because that's what they used to be called they're made by Pam glue guns but now the company is called Fasten Master and this is the gun that they make let's go ahead and pop this open and show you this is what it looks like here in the set this is not your glue gun that you're going to go pick up at Hobby Lobby or Walmart this is legit glue gun here your pressure your holding pressure with this gun is impressive as well as the feed rate if you've ever tried to use like say one of your wife's glue guns to put something together those little ones that cost you know whatever at the dollar store well they're not anything like this this will push glue about as fast as you can pull the trigger it once it's heated up that's where you're at it is fast and they make a couple different kinds of glue for it. They call it Flex 40 and Flex 180. I'm not sure if there are others, but this is the two that I use primarily. The Flex 40 is for putting tack strips on concrete or anything really that you'd need to glue to concrete, that type of thing. The issue with it is this has 40 seconds of open time. So you can still position your stuff. Like after you stick this together, you'll have up to 40 seconds that you can maneuver the joint to get exactly what you're looking for. If you buy the Flex 180, you'll have 180 seconds of open time. And I'll put that right up there where you can actually see what that says. Uh, the reason for that, full strength is achieved in 8 minutes on this one, 5 minutes on the green, 40. And this stuff is so strong... Well, let's see, 90, 90 linear feet, which is 18 sticks. You can go 90 linear feet of half inch by 10 inch sticks. So the strength that these have is absolutely impressive. If, you're, if you think about the fact that this is used to put tack strips on concrete for carpet stretching. So you can stretch carpet to this glue without nailing the tack strips in. So this is some serious, serious stuff. If you have a little more open, need a little more open time, like you're doing hardwood flooring, you may need to move things around. That's why this does say hardwood flooring on it. A lot of times, what I love this for is when you're doing things um, like LVP or something and you're butting up right next to carpet. I can run one little bead of this right along my last row of LVP right there and not need a transition. It can be fit perfectly to under the edge of the carpet. So there's that. Returns on crown molding, returns on any kind of trim really you do. Anything really delicate that needs that, this is, this is a better way to do it. It is a thick glue, so after you use it, you can give it a rub or two and get it to set in there. We're going to do a, a, a quick little shot here in a minute of putting this together with it. Kind of show you how the gun works. I'll plug it in here in a minute and let it heat up off camera. And then we'll go ahead and video using it. There are several tips that this comes with. This is the red tip and the black tip. The black tip is if you decide you want to push regular inexpensive glue from like Hobby Lobby or Walmart or Amazon or wherever you get it. You have to switch tips to the black tip to do that. The red tip is for using with the Fasten Master branded glue. Now, with the experience I've had with this, I don't think I would be using anything else. This stuff goes a long ways. I mean, 90 linear feet of 
glue. It's going to last you a while on a box, and I want to say they might be around 20 bucks a box or so for glue. It's definitely not cheap glue, but neither is this gun. I mean, you're sitting here looking at a at a fairly nice glue gun, and it still plugs in, believe it or not. It does have a power switch here on the back, so you can turn it off. The rack is built in to hold it. But usually, I recommend you grab you a little scrap of wood or something when you set this down, because you can get a little bit of feed, especially if you've been using it for a while. Not so much when you first turn it on, but it can get a little bit of glue feed out of it after it's good and hot. So you want to be sure you're ready for that. The glue sticks, too, as they feed in, once it passes this point right here that's the catch point, you can start your next stick feeding in. You don't want to just remove sticks and whatnot, though. Uh, it does come with a flathead screwdriver, so you can adjust the temperature of the gun here on the bottom. There's a little screwdriver that comes in the kit that you can turn this temperature, and it goes from 284 degrees Another, the midpoint is 356 and up to high is 428 degrees. It looks to me like I have it set right now at the midpoint between 356 and 428. So I must be pushing right around 400 degrees. But for the glue I'm using, that is the factory setting that it came on. And it's just been fantastic with their glue. And I, I use this a lot. This is one of my favorite little tools when I'm doing flooring and trim. So anyway, let's get this thing hot, let's get her hooked up, and let's see how it works. So, as we were saying, this is loaded with, I believe, 40 second glue. We can find out real fast though. Nope, this is loaded with 180. You can tell because it has like a yellowish tint to that one. And these are almost white, like store glue. So anyway, all you have to do with this, and you can see, just squeeze this handle, It'll lay down your bead real quick. You can take your board, and I usually like to rub it just a little bit until I can feel it start to take a hold. And then I can just hold it like that. Now obviously it's gonna be a little more difficult here on camera to get it nice and tight, but um, you, could, you could hold this with a clamp or anything if you wanted to, but that is the beauty of using the hot glue is that is already together. See there? Now all I'd have to do is just go ahead and let that lay, and in a couple of minutes, it'll be ready to go ahead and install. But instead, we're going to go ahead and put another one on the other end, and hopefully I can do this right where y'all can see really, really well. All right, you can see that right there. This will pump glue as fast as you want it to, and I'll show you that here in a second. But you can see here, I put these two together, and I like to rub them until my joint gets nice and tight. And then I'll just hold it real nice and firm for a few seconds. And I'm done right there. There's my piece. No nails, anything. Now, just a, just a few minutes and you'll be able to do whatever you want with that. That is obviously the eight minute material. So we'll give that a little bit and give it a go. But I'll show you, I have a little bit of glue left in here, how fast you can lay a bead down with this. It'll literally go as fast as you can squeeze. There you go. And I've already used a half a stick, I believe. I used everything I had sticking out anyway, so it's ready for a new glue stick when it gets to that point right there where you can see about half the end. You can go ahead and advance the next one into that, and you're good to go. Then your little on and off switch is just right here. Kick it off, and we can let, it, let that gun cool down. So you'll want to let it sit, you know, like that while it cools down. But if you're building any little parts of anything, that's, and it's already nice and cool, that glue is. And I can still move that joint because this, remember, this is 180 second uh, open time. So you have almost three minutes with this to really get your fingers on there. And you can get that joint just as perfect as you want or have all the time. Look at, look at that right there. That's with hot glue. How cool is that? So if you have any little parts that you're worried about breaking when you shoot nails into them, there's just nothing to it. You know, unless you get so small that you could get the hot glue on your fingers, then that might be a case where you'd want to put it together using uh, some needle nose pliers or something to hold it. But if you can just hold it for a very brief moment, you're all set. And that's how, that's all there is to it. 
All right, guys, so what did you think? That was the Fasten Master glue gun and uh, kind of a little bit of what it's good for. So that's that little piece we made a minute ago. And uh, I've only given it a couple of minutes, but we'll see if I can bust it. There. I did get one end off. There we go. Um, but you can see, <clears throat> even after what? three, four minutes, and that, that stuff doesn't fully cure till eight, but I, I really wanted to see if I could pop it that soon, but that's just that glue right in there. That's a pretty solid little joint to use in a trim case or something like that, and that's obviously breaking right through a miter joint, so if you just have an end that's not being stressed or anything, if you have uh, anything trim related, really, it's going to be perfect for obviously when you put things together where it has the sheer strength and it's trying to be done that way there's almost no way you're going to bust that but that's testing it mighty quick there but anyway that held <laughs> a little more than i even expected but that is an awesome little glue gun holds really well and uh, appreciate you guys watching don't forget to hit that like button Subscribe if you like these kind of videos down there. I sure love making them for y'all. And hopefully you get something useful out of one here and there. And hopefully our setup's getting to be a little better where we can talk about these tools where y'all can see what I'm doing a little better than I have in the past. But I appreciate all y'all that made it through all the really tough stuff. And hopefully our setup gets even better going forward. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.